Let's do another hunt showdown trial. Another parkour trial. This one is called Flat Out for Flat Boats. And it's one of the Stillwater Bayou trials where you have to deal with uh, Concertina Armored, uh, the once. So, what do we need to do to get three stars in this one? One, we need to not take any damage at all. Nothing, no fire damage, no bleeding, no fall damage. We need to kill 10 armoreds on the way through. And we need to not miss any checkpoints. So this one, what they say the hint is, is to find and use lanterns, which is realistically the only way that you can do it and get through it. They give you a flare pistol. You've only got three shots in the flare pistol and that's it. You don't get any other equipment. So let's see how I got through this with three stars. All right, now when this one starts, the first thing I want to do is actually this guy down here becomes a real pain sometimes. So I'm going to burn him and then come through to the first checkpoint while I reload. And we're going to take this lantern, burn that guy, grab this lantern. Now there's a sneaky one hiding just down here, which it's easier to take him out now than having to worry about him after. Take this one. If you can always have a lantern in your hand, it's not a bad idea for this one. So always grab one wherever you can. Jump over the boat there to dodge that one. Now this one, you want to try and keep this lantern left of that armoured because when I grab this checkpoint where that shows up sometimes if you throw it straight at him fire will engulf that entire checkpoint and you won't be able to pick it up burn that guy, we come over to here now don't jump up onto this wood stack, you don't have to that just wastes time, you just grab that burn him, then come around because we're going straight to this lantern next we jump up onto there, pick that up, we've got to jump to here, now fall damage fall under the boat because if you fall next to the boat sometimes you can take fall damage now we have to be accurate with our next shot because the railing gets in the way sometimes and we need to take him out now hopefully we get him and now the next one i like to flare pistol this next one just because he comes up onto that checkpoint too closely and too quick Throw that just forward of that one so you can still get the checkpoint around the back of the fire. And then we will come and grab this one next. Up there. Now fall damage comes into play again here. So I like to take that clue. Oh, sorry, checkpoint. Fall under the awning. Fall under there. Then we come down. So this is where we've already killed one that was there at the start. So that makes that section a lot easier. Don't even have to worry about the fire. We've just got to be careful of this one here. And I will grab this lantern, but this one here sometimes is better to flare pistol the next one because you can see him through there. Sometimes he sits right on the next checkpoint, which he is. But if I wait a couple of seconds, let him walk past, take this, let him go that way, and now we get away from him grab this lantern here. There will be one just to the right, so you've got to be careful of this guy. Throw it straight at him, then get around the side. This is the one we took out right at the start when we turned around. It was right there, so that makes that much easier. Then we can burn him out, avoid the fire, and just watch for the second one. Was, well, he walked into that fire by himself, so we didn't even need to burn him out. Grab that, where's the next one? Straight back up here. And now we've got a straight run to the last checkpoint. Just, just run away from that one, don't even have to worry about it. And then we're done with three stars. So, that's how I got that one done. Look, it's not too bad, but it's just a matter of knowing which lanterns to pick up and knowing those little little secrets where you can maybe burn one or two of the armors out before you get there, before going all the way around and coming back to that point. So that makes it a bit easier. If there's any others that you're having trouble with, please drop me a comment and I will make a video for that one. If I haven't yet, hopefully I'll get through to it anyway. I'm going to try and systematically work through all of them. But if it's helped, I am super happy if it's helped you get through it and get three stars. Please subscribe and don't forget to jump on and follow me on Twitch at AverageGamerWes as well. And I will see you on the next tutorial.